welcome to Beyond Protocol Tutorials by Devros. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add the cargo ship we created in a previous tutorial and add it to the transport management system. First what you're going to do is notice the transport management system here at the bottom left. You will see you can have up to 100 transports in your transport management list. Now what this will do is it will take whatever transport uh, ship you're going to use and it actually physically removes it from the game and it just becomes numbers in this box. The nice part about this is, is it's faster than going from wormhole to wormhole yourself individually, waiting for it to get there. It'll do it all automatically, and it cannot be intercepted by other players or pirates. So it's a very secure transport system. So first thing you, you need to do is you need to take your cargo ship that you created and Requesting dock it inside of one of your buildings. You can do it in either the trade post or the uh, command center or any other building for that matter. It just has to be docked. At that point you go to the transport window and click on add transport. From there you will see the uh, transport, the cargo ship that we just added in there and we will create transport. And voila, now we have a cargo ship inside of our uh, transport management system, and now we have one of 100. Now you can change the name of it for if you want to assign it any specific tasks. You can see what its capacity is, and you can see what its uh, cargo is at the time. Uh, one thing that you can to do it with that is you can come up in here, and you can see every system that you have that you can uh, transport anything to and or from and to do so you just add that system and then you can select whatever it is you want from this drop down list um, one easy way we could do it let's say let's see here do I have something I'd like to get rid of um, you know I don't need these 10k power engines anymore they are worthless and no one wants to buy them so let's go into my components here engine components 10k power now you can either do it as a quantity or if you want to get rid of if you want to pick up as much as possible of something you can click on 100% now that we've added the 100% uh, uh, power here what we can do is we're not actually going to send it anywhere if we wanted to we could just click another location add and then drop off but we don't want to do that right now because I don't really want to move it anywhere I want to show you something else you can do with this I'm going to delete that item and I'm going to pick up all my 10k power engines And as you'll notice, I was unintelligent on that one and was sending it to Ekaboo 1 when I am on Ekaboo 8. That's one thing you need to be mindful of. Now, you cannot modify any of this stuff while a uh, ship is in transit, so you got to wait until it's idle before you can uh, give it any orders or change any of its orders. So, let's wait until it gets here.
All right, now let's add a group eight, which is where the, what I really want is, well, add the action, and we shall begin. Now, as you can see, it has my those 10, those 12 10K power engines in here. Now, if I wanted to, I could send them anywhere I want. I could uh, set up a trade route, and then I could also even set up uh, loop orders to where it will constantly just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. But one of the things I wanted to show you and people have wanted me to mention is the fact that you can load unwanted uh, minerals, parts, pretty much anything that you can load into it and hit discard and now it's gone. You never have to worry about it again. These are very uh, good for making trade routes, uh, moving minerals along, and it's just a lot more convenient and easy to work, easier to work with and it's safe. So I hope this has been helpful and good luck out there.